Can you see this? Twenty pound. It's twenty pound, yeah. Everyone knows that. Twenty pound in the UK. What can you do with twenty pound? What can you do? Let me ask you a question. What can you do with twenty pound? Can you turn this into a million pound business? Well, today I'm going to share with you one entrepreneur who has managed to do this. He only had twenty pound in his pocket, and he turned it into a million pound business. Stay tuned. I'll share with you the top three Bangladesh entrepreneurs and one of them is that it turned a 20 pound into a million pound business. How about that? Isn't that awesome? If you haven't yet subscribed, I want you to hit that bell notification and sub subscription button so that you will be informed every time we upload new videos on how to make money tips and hacks on how to start a profitable online business as a Bangladeshi entrepreneur. Maybe you are new to this, maybe you are a veteran, some of the videos are going to help you to scale and grow your business. So I want you to hit that button right now, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell notification so you'll be notified every single time we upload a video. Today in this video I want to share with you all about three influential Bangladesh entrepreneurs who have made it against all odds to build a million pound business. Now let me ask you this question, are you excited to learn about these three Bangladesh entrepreneurs? Raise your hand, say yes, leave a comment below, wow, because you'll be blown away what I'm about to share with you. Especially one entrepreneur that really caught my attention was how he was able to start his entrepreneurial journey with only 20 pounds in his pocket and turn that into a million pound business. My only goal is for you to be inspired and motivated. <laughs> Mighty what the hell was I saying? Okay, let's start again, take two. My only goal is for you to be inspired and motivated so that you believe in your idea, your one idea and dreams and take action after watching this video. So if you've been sitting on your idea for all this long, it's time for you to take action, my friend, because when you learn about these three entrepreneurs, you discover what they've done and how they've done it, you will be inspired. And that is my only goal. So let's start. First in line is Mokim Ahmed, born September the 1st, 1954 in Silet, Bangladesh. He arrived in the UK in the early 70s at the age of 19 to study engineering with the intention of returning back to Bangladesh to join his family business. He helped his father import goods from the UK and Netherlands and then send it back to Bangladesh. He is a self-made millionaire as he became the first Bangladeshi millionaire at the age of 26. I'm proud to say that. I'm so proud to say that. He's a self-made millionaire. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of determination, commitment, and not to mention a lot of sacrifices. He invested in real estate and bought a lot of properties in Brick Lane. He currently owns Cafe Dance. So if you ever come to Brick Lane, make sure to visit Cafe Dance. You never know, you might even uh, bump into him and say hello. Say my name, so do then. He doesn't know me, but yeah, say hello anyway. Second in line is Iqbal Ahmed. There's no chronological order. I've just laid it out like that. So there's number one, there's no number one, and there's no number two. This is the way I just laid it out for you guys. He was born on 4th of August, 1956 in Balagonj, Silet in Bangladesh. He moved to the UK in 1971 at the age of 15 years old. He attended City College in Westminster and a few years later joined his family business in Oldham. He has been the CEO of CMAC, which he formed with his brothers Kamal and Belal. He owns two companies, CMAC and IBCO, as I mentioned. CMAC is the frozen food processor and IBCO is a supplier to the catering trade. He now owns a hotel development, a Thai restaurant, and a bar called the Vermilion and Cinnabar in Manchester. He and his brothers were listed twice in the top 20 richest Asians with a net worth of 88 million in 2006 and 90 million in 2007. Next, 
I'm so proud of this brother, he has made it. The one, remember I said he only had 20 pounds in his pocket. His name is Shalim Hussein. He was born on 20th February 1973 in Bangladesh. He came to the UK with his uncle and aunt in, in 1985. He moved to Cardiff in 1986, worked at an Indian restaurant at the age of 17 in Gabalfa. <laughs> they got some funny names. But you can relate because we've worked at this age it was the leather trade and the restaurant trade so you either worked in a factory or you worked in the restaurant I mean I've worked in many restaurants uh, as a waiter and also in the kitchen as well so it's quite relatable the story is right you worked in the restaurant and you did your uh, um, your work whatever was necessary at that time so it's it's, it's really relatable this brother's uh, story in 1991 his local prawn supplier went out of business and having seen a gap so there was a problem there. Uh, when I talk about it in my other videos, solve a problem. If you, if you solve a major winning problem, you have a very successful business, but it takes time. So in 1999, his- Whoa, 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 what was that? Something happened here. Uh, in 1999, his local prawn supplier went out of business and having seen a gap in the market, he took 20 pound worth of fuel and the money to buy six cases of prawns and sold them on to restaurants. And that's how his journey started. He started his business whilst working evenings as a part-time waiter in the restaurant and studying A-levels at the college. Wow, kudos to you, brother. Uh, he's studying, plus he's working, plus he's running his business. The three things have happening together. In 1993, he formed his first company called Eurofoods. He employed over 200 staff and has food processing units in Newport, Barking and Sunderland. Can you see how the progression has made his journey, how he's turned that 20 pound into a million pound business. So his first company he formed was in 1993 and by that time he built and scaled his business to a million pound. He started the business with an initial capital of 20 pound right in his pocket. By 2010, the annual turnover was around 80 million. Wow, 80 million. He also now invests in properties and now has a real estate business in Wales. These brothers, these three brothers have paved the way for the Bangladesh community. Now, I hope you have been inspired by this and you are now motivated to do something. If you have an idea, you can do this, right? So they should inspire you. Now it's your time. Now it's your time, your turn. If you've been sitting on this idea, you've been procrastinating whether to do it or not to do it, or if you've been thinking oh, what others will think, brothers, sisters, go for it. I'm telling you, there's no perfectionism in business. You learn as you go along, as long as you have a plan in place. So I hope you got inspired by these brothers here, what they have achieved and what they have done. It's sheer determination, commitment, and a lot of hard work and making smart decisions. So now it's your time, you can do it. So what I want you to do is join me in the Bangladeshi Entrepreneurs Network on Facebook and get ideas uh, share your ideas, uh, help other entrepreneurs. My aim and my goal in this group, the Bangladesh Entrepreneurs Group, is to grow and develop a tribe of entrepreneurs, whether you're young, old, it doesn't matter. We share the same goals, is to become financially free. So if you're ready, if you want to be part of that tribe, come and join me in the Bangladeshi Entrepreneurs group where I share a lot of ideas. I want a lot of people to come and join and join that tribe. So I hope to see you in the inside. I am your biggest fan and I appreciate you guys watching this video. And my only goal, as I said, and I hope I've achieved this goal is to inspire and motivate you to get started and on your idea and start developing and growing and scaling your business. Adios people. I'll see you in the next video. I am your biggest fan. This is Sojo Uddin. Thank you for watching.